الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويتفكرون في خلق السماوات والأرض ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا رب شعري صدري ويسر لي أمري وأهل أقدة من لساني يفقوا قولي My respected elders and my dear brothers and sisters I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh May peace, mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Almighty God be on all of you The topic of my talk is Let's revive our Iman Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said in an authentic hadith Inna al-Imana la yakhlaqu fi jawfi ahadikum kama yakhlaqus sawbu fas'alu Allah ta'ala an yujaddida al-Iman fi qulubikum Verily Iman gets old just like the new cloth becomes shabby so ask Allah to help you and ask Allah to renew your Iman and based on this hadith We plead to Almighty Allah, O oh Allah, we beg you, O oh Allah, we ask you by your divine names and attributes to strengthen our Iman. Ameen. Iman, my dear brothers and sisters, is the most important thing in our life. It is the most precious thing, most valuable thing. And a sensible person, when he owns something valuable, where does he keep it? Outside the house, on the road, on the pavement, where do you keep it? Inside the locker or maybe in the bag? Because it is so valuable. The most valuable thing in your life is Iman. And you must protect this Iman from the thieves. Who are the thieves? That are going to steal your Iman. Who is the biggest thief? Satan is the biggest thief. And then... the followers of Satan who work round the clock to steal the seaman the most valuable thing in the life of human being that's why the sahabas were very concerned and very worried about their iman and they would tell each other dana no mensa they would tell each other let us sit down for one hour and renew our iman Do we do that? No. Do we ask each other, Oh brother, how's your Iman? No, we don't ask each other, How's your Iman brother? How's your Iman sister? No, that's not in our life. And then, we start to dream. We want Firdaus Alala. We want to be established on earth. Then there's no Iman. Now let us see what is the definition of Iman. The definition of Iman consists of three components nutqum bil lisan utterance upon the tongue wa tasdeeq bil janan and conviction in the heart the belief something in the heart firmly so that's the conviction so that's the second component wa amalu bil jawari wal arkan and actions by the limbs like salah you have to get up and pray hajj you have to go to makkah See ya. You have to stop from eating and drinking. So these are the actions by the limbs. So iman is equal to utterance multiplied by conviction multiplied by action. The product is iman. The utterance is fixed or variable. Is it constant or variable? It is variable. So whatever you utter is not fixed. So that's why in Ramadan, because of the zikr, because of the istighfar, because of the reading of Quran, you feel, MashaAllah, your Iman is shooting up, it is rising. Why? Because now one element of Iman has increased. So the product will increase. Is this clear? 
Now take the second. The conviction. The aqeedah. Is it fixed? Is it fixed or variable? It is fixed and variable. How? It is fixed in the sense that you believe in the angels. So it's not that one day you believe in the angels, other day you say, I don't believe in the angels. Right? It is fixed. But it is variable that the more evidence you learn about the deed, the stronger the conviction. So it is variable from that perspective. The more knowledge you get, the stronger that knot becomes. So now we know, utter increases, conviction increases, and also action increases. One who prays only five prayers is easy mark. Like one who prays the five prayers, and the nafil prayers, and the tajwa prayers, what do you think? Same or different? Different. That's why every Muslim feels that in Ramadan his iman increases. Because his salah, his actions have increased. So now how can we strengthen our iman to reinforce this iman? Make it strong in our hearts. Number one, my dear brothers and sisters, is the learning. You have to learn your deen. Nowadays, in the Muslims, we have something called religious illiteracy. The Muslims are illiterate about their deed. Though they are PhD holders, the title doctor, but they don't know about their deed. So it is high time for us to learn our deed. Without learning Islam, without learning the deed, your Iman will become weak. Second thing, This book, the Quran, Allah reveals it for the Hidayah, for us to contemplate, to ponder, to reflect. So it's not that you'll take the Quran and read it in a parrot fashion without knowing its meaning. No, get a translation of the Quran in your mother tongue so you know when you are reading what you are reading. Because this book, the Quran, the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen the iman. The third thing that will strengthen your iman is to see the greatness of Allah. Don't you see the greatness of Allah around you? Don't you see yourself? Don't you see the universe around you? Everything is in order. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls us to reflect. Allah says in Surah al imran chapter 3, verse number 191. The verse which I recited in the beginning of my talk. Allah says, وَيَتَفَكَّرُونَ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ رَبَّنَا مَا خَلَقْتَ هَذَا بَاطِلَ They ponder and reflect upon the creation of Allah. Oh Allah, for sure, you didn't create this just for nothing. No, there must be a purpose. See the creation around you that calls you to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a matter of fact, it builds your Iman. Also the Zikr. Zikr is the most important thing. Zikr is to the heart, just like water is to the plant. The plant, without water, what will happen to it? It will die. Same thing, your heart, no Zikr, the heart will die. So always keep doing Zikr to strengthen your Iman, don't lose zikr at all. Also, we should not waste time. Time is life. What are we doing? Wasting time for hours and hours in front of the television? What will you answer Allah when He'll ask you, how do you spend your life? Watching television? Watching cricket? Does the answer you're going to give Allah? Time is your life and He's going to ask you about it. Inshallah from now, my dear brothers and sisters, we should make a niya that, O oh Allah, help us from now. We'll not waste time. Inshallah, we'll benefit from every single minute. Inshallah. With this, I would like to conclude my talk by quoting a surah from the Quran, Surah al As, chapter 103, verse number 123. Wal Asr, inna al insana lafiqus, illa al ladina amanu wa amru salihati, 
تواسو بالحق و تواسو بالصبر by the token of time verily man is a loss except those who believe and do righteous deeds and exhort people to truth and exhort people to patience and perseverance واخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمه Jazakallah brother for giving tips to revive our iman